Now you may have noticed that the um, spiky cylindrical kind of things, those will kill you in one hit. Just kind of, I guess, like uh, kind of homage to the whole running from things that will kill you in one hit from the original games and etc. etc. And it's on Sardon perspective, so it's kind of interesting in that regard. Um, the last time something like this um, occurred in Crash Game was Twin Sanity, actually. I think it pays a lot of. Um, memory to Twin Sanity, because Classroom Chaos had this whole slime in the library bit and you have to run around the side, it's very um, similar, I think. Very interesting, very interesting. And Academy of Evil was obviously the um, private school of the series as well that Nina used to go to, but um, was sent to a public school instead, instead as a punishment from Cortex, because obviously um, she took over the plan from the last game and was be punished just so. So yeah, private education taken away for a public school one. Not that it really matters, you know? It's all to do with your willingness to learn. Actually, to be fair, the kids at public school are just way worse. Very, very easy to stop these, just go these little kind of volcano cannon things shoot in a anti-clockwise fashion, you just spin jump and the projectiles will smash right back into them and destroy them instantly. And try not to be a fool and, and like me and spin the actual device yourself. <laughs> I've just done quite a few times. So good, so good. In other news, Crash can now get out of Evil Public School 101 because Nina conveniently somehow opened the gate in the desert we passed earlier. Seriously, what? <laughs> it's just kind of... There! <laughs> it just felt like a cheap way to get Nina into the game for no reason. Oh, come on! <laughs> right. So, you you get the point. Yeah, this digging is also pretty new to the Crash games. Well, I'd say new. It was used in Crash 2, actually, um, to dig underground and the behaving levels and the digging at levels. Pretty fun. Um, it's returned for this game for Mojo collecting and other fun collecting uses. Not much else, you won't find any voodoo dolls or golden wamper underground. Just to let you know. Ah! Ow. You hurt me. Just gain this for the. Oh, for Pete's sakes. Because I, I was just gaining it for the. Um, gaining it for the object of speed. But that was. Oh my gosh, I fell. Oh no, that's because I'm rushing. See, the funny thing is, if I wasn't rushing, I wouldn't have fallen. When you rush, you can't relax into the game. I explained this a few years back on the old interview I had on uh, YouTube. And I still feel the same. You rush for a game, you die more often. That is also the reason I despise time trials in the previous Crash games, and glad they haven't returned. Yet. So... Uh, a lot of people want them to return. I absolutely despise time trials. Not that I'm bad at them. It's just that, you know, I really hate them. <laughs> kind of, it gets very competitive. And beating other people's times really get on my nerves. And I feel compelled to do it as well. Because I feel like I have to achieve something. For being a, such a big Crash fan as I am. Right, we're back at the Ratsicle Kingdom. My little friends of the friend friend. <sighs> and here we are told that Wampa Island is under... Well, when the NPCs load. Uh, Wampa Island is under attack from crazy titans. Which makes us have to rush back and backtrack through the annoying part. The part that I really don't like backtracking through. Because it's so dull. There really should be an alternate path. <sighs> Whatever. Defend Wumper. See Wumper. W U M P A. 
Wampa. Remember that for your spelling bee, which you only get in America. That's the second time I've done that. <laughs> hmm. May I come back to the point that when you rush, you die more often? Stupid death. He always takes my life away from me. Ah, it's snowy on screen. It's sunny outside. I should be outside. Darn it. See, right, yeah, and now I do the shortcut thing. That's what I should have done earlier. But, you know, since you have to backtrack a second time, I get to show you then. So, yeah. Notice the um, speed shoes do give you quite a bit of boost in speed. That is the inertia, not the drug. Those clocks, by the way, they um, give you challenges on collecting chests and green mojo and all sorts. The end result, if you collect them all, is just some more mojo. They're not really that worth it. Not unless you have like a big multiplier, um, multiplier to start with from comboing. So don't bother. Unless you really want that extra mojo, 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 mojo. Okay. Yeah, you may realise that the um, whoa, you may realise that the boots weren't there earlier. The game, the locations change in what's collectible and what enemies are there throughout the game. So yeah, I think we just. I lost my TK. No. Wait, I had a TK. No, Titan. Right, we're back at Wampa Island with the second phase of the islandism where everything starts changing around a bit and you get to see some spikes and snipes and cookies and candy. Honky tonky onga. Yep, Crash's house has been spiked up. In fact, by the end of the game, Wampa Island is pretty blurbled up to be honest I'm wondering how that's going to be handled in the next crash game by Radical if they're going to continue that or if things are going to be fixed up or what what I really am hoping for for the next um, platform is some kind of something involving a bit of the old time travel again mainly because I think they could do so much more of it I think, I think Warp underplayed that a bit not the levels themselves, but just imagine one part island could be can be visited in the past and future, and different things you do would affect the past and future. Hmm. You know, maybe you you take a seed and and bring it back to the past and plant it, and then in you go back to the present time, only to find out it's this huge wampa tree that you can climb. I don't know, I'm taking ideas from Sheep Dawn Wolf, also known as Sheep Raider as well. So that's, that's some great ideas as well. So yeah, I mean, they can just go back in time and, and find that the island's fine again, or something. I don't know. Speculating. But yeah, I mean, that's the only way I can think of clearing out the mess unless they move again. Allegedly are moved anyway. By the way, um... We crash is heading to the hero hero spike. Heroes are versions of titans which are slightly stronger and have um, their abilities are slightly enhanced for a typical version of themselves. So yeah, I'm just going to cut off the video here before you fight.